Hello all, I'm Viru from electronicsinnovation.com. I'm your host for this episode. In one of my previous videos, I have clearly explained how to get started with Tuya IoT platform and deploy project on the same platform. In that video, we have seen how to control light source from the Tuya IoT platform. In this video, we will look into how to monitor temperature and humidity using Tuya's SHT30 sandwich board. By the end of the video, we will be able to deploy temperature and humidity monitoring device on the Tuya IoT platform and monitor the readings on the Tuya Smart app. So let's see how we can do that. First of all, visit the Tuya IoT platform using the link provided in the description below. Sign up by providing the following info and confirm the email. If you register the Tuya IoT platform using the link I have provided in the description box, you can get Tuya network modules for free worth $7.5. Then log into the platform using the same credentials. If you find the website in Chinese language, you can change it to the English from here. Then click on the create a product. In this tutorial, we are going to monitor temperature and humidity readings from the SHT30 sensor. So go to the sensors category and select temperature and humidity from the environment section. Select solution type custom solution. Then click on temperature and humidity sensor. Provide a name for your device. If you wish, you can also provide a model for it. Then check the protocol Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and power type lower consumption. After that, click on create button. As we wanted to monitor the temperature and humidity, make sure the both functions are selected. If not selected, you can select them from the left functions options. Then click on OK. That's it. A new product or device has been created on the Tuya IoT platform. Now copy the product ID or say PID and mail it to dev at the rate tuya.com together with your Tuya IoT account name as subject. After some time, you will receive a token from the Tuya DevOps team. Then visit the Tuya PMS platform using the link provided in the description. Sign up by providing all required details. Then log into the platform using the same credentials. If you find the website in the Chinese language, you can change it to the English from here. Click on Production Management, Work Order Management, then Activation Code Verification. Input token ID that you have just received over the mail from DevOps team and confirm it. You can find the activated code list in the following menu. That's it, the token has been activated successfully. We will use the TIDA software application to burn the authorization into the ESP8266 module. I have explained how to download and install and set up the software in the previous video. If you wish, you can watch that video using the above i button. After successful login, the following page should appear. If you find the software in the Chinese language, you can change it to the English from here. Then click on the setup option from the file menu. Select the burning baud rate 921600 and testing baud rate 9600 and leave the rest of the configurations as default. Then click on OK button. Click on enter token button to input the token which is activated on the Tuya PMS platform and select workstation burning authorization. Also check a firmware download option. Then click on OK. Now connect ESP8266 to your PC using any USB interface. Select the COM port and click on run button. After few seconds, the burning procedure will begin and continue until 100%. Then you will see the following success page on the software. If the following success page appeared on the software, congratulations. You have successfully burned the authorization into the ESP8266 module. After burning authorization, disconnect ESP8266. Here is the circuit diagram to interface the ESP8266 module SHT30 sandwich board with Arduino Uno. The Arduino Uno will read the data from the SHT30 sandwich board and post the sensor data to the Tuya IoT platform by communicating with the ESP8266 module over the serial communication. First, I have placed the Tuya SHT30 sandwich board on the Arduino Uno and soldered the rest of the four wires required for Node MCU and connected. After connections, the circuit might be something like this. Now open Arduino IDE. We are going to use Tuya library Tuya Wi-Fi MCU SDK for this project. This library can be installed from the Arduino library manager. 
Now go to the example section from the file menu and search for Tuya Wi-Fi MCU SDK and open the SHT30 example. Then check the uploading configurations board Arduino Uno and select the right port. Then compile the code and upload it to the Arduino Uno. If you face any problems while uploading, just disconnect the ESP8266 and try uploading again. Because CP210X module and ESP8266 module share same serial connection. The connection between these two modules might interfere with the uploading. After successful uploading, connect GPIO pin 7 of the Arduino Uno to the ground for 3 to 4 seconds to put the device into the pairing mode. The onboard LED will flicker if the module is in pairing mode. Now take out the mobile and open the 2 Smart app and add the device as shown here. Select the sensors from the add manually section. Then select temperature and humidity sensor which is based on Wi-Fi. Provide the available Wi-Fi credentials. Confirm the indicator is blinking and then submit. Mm, boom! The device has been added to the 2 Smart IoT app successfully. If you want, you can edit the device name here. Then click on done. Upon successful pairing, the device will appear on the home page. If you click on the device, you can see the temperature and humidity of the environment where the device is placed. You can monitor the temperature and humidity seamlessly for every one second. You can use these temperature and humidity sensors in different areas like chemical laboratories, hospitals, food industries, warehouses, goods transporting, cold storages, tobacco curing bonds and a lot more to do with temperature and humidity sensors. So try to make one temperature and humidity sensors and install at your home and monitor the temperature and humidity in your home seamlessly with your IoT platform. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed the video and learned something new from this episode. Stay tuned to Electronics Innovation for more videos on Tuya Smart IoT platform. See you soon on the next video. Bye bye.